The second round of the IRB Pacific Nations Cup attracted thousands of local fans to the Prince Chichibu ground in Tokyo. The highlights of the round were the matches between Japan and Tonga, and before that, Fiji and Samoa, who had both won their opening games. Taking control was England's Wayne Barnes, one of the most experienced referees in his 41st international. And Total Rugby was given exclusive behind-the-scenes access to the officials on the day. As the teams headed back to the changing room for their final preparations, we went backstage with the ref. We've had a stroll around the pitch and realised how hot it is today. Um, so we've got the Factor 50 ready. Um, then we popped into the both teams and had a chat with all the front rows. So we've been in to see the Fijian team first and then into the Samoa team. And then about 50 minutes before we uh, did the toss with the captains and um, Fiji won the toss. Um, they um, decided that they would kick off and Samoa chose their ends. So we, we know how the game's going to start. And we're now going to sit down as a team of um, referee and two assistant referees and all the sub-controllers, all from the Japanese uh, Rugby Football Union, and just make sure that we're all um, aware of what's expected of us today and um, the challenges that might be ahead. Um, if you can put it in the back, that would be better. Can you take it really like yeah, you did last yeah. time, like all the way around? That's fine. Okay. That's yeah. fine. Okay. That's great. The one in the ear will be um, so I can speak to my touch uh, my assistant reps, and then they'll put another mic, which you see is here, which will be for the the broadcast. Yeah, we'll be just at the back of the neck. We'll get a knock from the um, the TV company, because obviously TV are running the show today, so they'll give us a knock probably about five minutes ago, and then two minutes ago, and then they'll tell us when they want us. Sometimes I've had in the past where the TV. I forgot to tell us that the teams have gone. Um, we've been waiting in the change room ready for the knock and then all of a sudden you wonder why there's booing and hissing coming from the crowd. <laughs> Fiji's call to action, the Thimbi, was answered in kind by the Samoans' Siva Tau, and the contest itself lived up to the pre-match challenges. <laughs> Fiji's scrum half, Namaya Kenatala, scored the opening try, finishing off a fluent counter-attack. Samoan captain David Lemmy led his team's fight back. The smallest player on the pitch broke through the defence and his well-judged kick presented seven-star Alaforte Fausileva with a simple touchdown. And Lemmy's second shortly after put Samoa 18-13 ahead at the break. Back foot's pretty good for me. When you have to speak to sit, you just bought into it. Yeah, good. Back foot for you, Kazu. Good. No problems. Yeah, yep. Um, we just uh, basically take a moment just to relax and reflect on the first half and uh, see if there are any issues we need to deal with or players we need to speak to, to just to let the game flow. So thankfully, no trends in the first half to worry about too much. So hopefully, the second half will be the same. Lemmy extended Samoa's lead 10 minutes into the second half, in the process breaking Hosea Gear's tournament record of eight tries. Fijian skipper Natani Tali closed the gap to five points as the game moved towards a dramatic finale, but a fourth penalty from Samoan fly half Kianufi ensured that a late try from Fiji wasn't enough to dislodge Samoa from their position as the only unbeaten team in the competition. For the match officials, it was also a job well done.
I thought the players bought into, you know, being well disciplined, you know, they cleared the tackle area, there was space at guards and the, the scrum was um, settled, um, particularly in the second half. Um, so, you know, the three key facets of the game, um, the players deserve a lot of credit. Um, and it was an entertaining game, I, think. I don't know if we had six, five or six tries, but uh, there's a lot of running rugby out there.